The 6.5 is on the road here in Silicon Valley, and we are at Lattice's 2024 Developer Conference. Dan, it's great to be back. Second year here, and man, I just love, and I, I love product announcements. I love partner announcements. Some great stuff announced today. Yeah, and the developer ecosystem is so important. We know it's been such a big year for artificial intelligence. We know that it's such a big opportunity right now, and companies really are looking at how they are building developing, delivering solutions. And I'm always impressed when I spend time with the folks at Lattice Semiconductor. It was a great morning. The keynotes were really, really enjoyable. Great to hear from their new CEO, Ford Tamer. Um, and it was also just really exciting to see all the partners, all the excitement, all the enthusiasm. It was a great crowd, Pat, and uh, really glad to be here again. Yeah, it was, and it's pretty cool, you know, uh, been researching uh, the company for years, and I like to, I like to joke that you know, Lattice uh, made FPGAs cool, right? Very few people kind of knew what they could do in mass and they combined the right software, particularly uh, when it came to AI on the edge, also in the data center, telco, carrier, robotics, pretty much everywhere. So uh, a very pervasive company and some of the most important things out here. So let's dive in. So Ford, Dan, Assam, Welcome to the 6.5. Thank you. Good to be Congratulations here. Congratulations on the big announcements. Thank you. Yeah, really, really funny by the way you say, Pat, you know, made FPGAs cool. You know, it was only like two years ago that chips weren't cool at all. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you know, we, we are so back. I know. You know we are so that back. That changed and quick. It has so. been a great couple of years. And I mean, look, sometimes it takes that massive secular tailwind to get everybody uh, realigned. But heck, being hardware guys being into hardware and yeah. chips, it's cool again. Speaking of cool, Ford, <laughs> <laughs> great job on stage. Thank you. Thank you. Um, new to the role, yes. what are you, 90 days? Uh, almost. almost. Almost 90 days. So um, give us the uh, so far experience here at Lattice Semiconductor. Tell us a little bit about how it's going. No, look, I'm amped up. Uh, it's uh, been a whirlwind and um, traveled to employees and customers around the world. And uh, I'm blown away by the talent of our developer community, as you've seen uh, in the room and you'll see around the show floor uh, on all the demos. Uh, we've got a fantastic offering. And as you said, FPGAs seem to be everywhere. They're special and demand is growing fast. And Lattice with our mid-range and small FPGA families are growing even faster than the market and the FPGA industry. And we um, you know, are providing an opportunity for our developer to provide fantastic applications to our 11,000 customers worldwide and growing. So a very exciting time to be in the FPGA market at Lattice with our developer community today. Yeah, it's been great to, to get to know you, Ford. Thank you. Uh, you're spending time with analysts, which uh, which we appreciate. You know, we're we're kind of the educators of the broader uh, outside market, and it's been it's great to get to know you. And I have been struck. You know, I I spent a little time on social media, and I do catch all of the different hops you had as you were visiting all of your different uh, facilities. So it was, it was really good to see. So from a strategic standpoint, can you talk about what the strategy is and what are the resources and differentiated assets that you're bringing to the table to execute on that. Yeah, yeah. So look, we're very focused on the small to mid-range markets. Uh, we're not going after large. We're very focused on where we do well, uh, not just with silicon, but with soft IP tools, what we're calling now workloads for AI and solutions. And uh, very, uh, intent on providing differentiation to be number one with low power. And we're talking milliwatts, we're you know, small size with ease of use tools, soft IP solutions, and differentiated solution for edge AI and security. And providing to our developer community what we call the three S's, solutions, support, and supply in a, on top of that. Yeah, it's great to see, you know, we, uh, Dan and I sometimes, uh, hyperscalers will let us uh, open up the hood. Uh, I remember we were at, uh, at an Amazon facility and we were at an Azure uh, facility and they let us come in and, and we see your logo on, 
on that uh, GPU server. And it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, because I know a lot of people think of you as the Edge AI company, which you are, but the fact that you show up in some of these, this important infrastructure is, is it's pretty fun to see. It's like, hey, I know these people. We've got the largest install base of any other FPGA company that's out there today. And small FPGAs are being proliferated across all of our end markets. Yeah. Compute, servers, industrial, automotive, consumer as well. Yeah, yeah I, w I was very impressed with the variety of application when I visited the customer base. 250 million unit ships a year, uh, you know, anywhere from robotic, industrial automation, yeah. communication, computing, yeah. uh, aerospace defense, consumer. It's, we, we are really the Swiss army knife <laughs> of the industry. I love it. And yeah. it's funny because I mentioned this, I came up with this on my own and Isam told me they ran an ad a few years ago <laughs> with Swiss army knife. <laughs> but. Yeah, it's been really impressive to watch and I think the ability to, to rotate through what I would say kind of this massive change that's happened and you've been able to sort of grow through it. You know, parts of your traditional market segments have sort of seen declines and other parts are seeing extraordinary growth. And so as Pat and I are unwrapping some of these cloud products or some of these PCs and all these places where you are seeing a lot of enthusiasm and growth, it's great to see Lattice inside. Isam, this is always kind of a product moment for the company. Um, you know, you made several uh, new product announcements here today. Can you share a little bit with us on those announcements? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, today was another proof point of Lattice's commitment uh, to the FPGA market, specifically around small and mid-range FPGAs. In the uh, mid-range market, you know we launched Avant, and we've had three device families for Avant uh, that we previously announced our edge-optimized Avant E all the way to our advanced connectivity Avant X. And what we launched today was an expansion of that portfolio. We added the Avant 30 and 50, which gave our customers more LUT capacity options as well as package options, which further optimize their selection capabilities for the control and data path and edge AI and security type applications. And the customers asked us, hey, we need more, give us some more device options. So we executed and launched that today. And then we also launched uh, our next generation small FPJ platform, which we're really excited about. And Dan took the lead on that. And that's really our Nexus 2. So it's our next generation small FPGA, also built on cut some of the, 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 the DNA of Lattice, which is a low power, the small form factor, and not sacrificing performance at all. And then as you touched on earlier, it's not just the hardware that matters, yeah. it's also the software. So we also launched today updates to our design tool environment, our Radiant, our embedded uh, software suite around processor designs, Propel. We have more uh, announcements around that, more features, ease of use, more capabilities. But also we've done some upgrades on our software solution stacks. And we've added more capabilities, pre-built applications to make it easier for our customers to design in with Lattice. So today was a really good day as far as announcements. Yeah, they really were. And it's, it's like when we, we first did this, or I think when we, when we first met, it was pretty much uh, one product line with uh, minimal um, software tooling uh, around that. And you've really grown, it's great to see. So uh, I'm kind of a history buff when it comes to technology. Dan just says it's because I'm old, right? <laughs> uh, uh, that I do Both. this, but there's a lot of stuff you can learn from history. And one thing that probably over the last 40 years that's been very consistent, that given time, the compute will get closest to the place of data uh, creation, okay? And it just takes time. Yeah. It, and, and this is gonna be true for edge. And this is true for AI, given enough time because of, of latency, uh, because of, of cost, privacy, all these good reasons that AI and the edge, and, I'm, and this is a question for you, Ford, what is unique about uh, Lattice uh, and its offering for the edge AI market? Because there's a lot of choices out there. Yeah, no, very good question. Um, <clears throat> first, uh, you know, make sure we position this correctly. Our goal is to be a good partner and a good companionship to the NVIDIAs, to the AWS, to all the various partners out there. So our goal is not to um, encroach on any of them. I mean, our goal is to complement their offering. And we're going to complement it by being near sensor. So where you've heard from Dell today, where, you know, the keynote described this contextual AI, where there is tremendous benefit being near sensor because you're lower latency in milliseconds. Uh, and with this small Nexus device that we showed today, that less than one centimeter square, um, 
very low power in milliwatts, uh, and um, being able to run, these are, these are not the cloud type of models, these are the tiny AI, actually. You go do a search and tiny AI right now is, is the rage. We're running things like tiny YOLO or tiny mobile net or um, tiny ResNet in, in our uh, FPGA that's already on the board anyhow. We're in there doing you know, bridging or IO expansion or security and we've got a few gates that are available to run these tiny AI models. And so why not add more intelligence near a sensor that enhances yeah. your system uh, experience? Yeah, it seems like a really substantial opportunity. And I know there's, you know, to your point about history and compute moving closer, and I know we actually always talk about the accordion. Yeah. Things yeah. go back to the data center, back to the edge, back to the data center. I think AI is going to be a bit of a forcing function. You're going to have to bring a lot of compute close to the data. You just, you're not going to scale. You know, we will have obviously these really powerful data centers, yeah. of course. Yes. But we have to get smarter at the edge and build these kind of small semiconductors that can do a lot of the right types of processing. Dan. Thanks for your patience. Welcome <laughs> to the show. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, Dan's here. Good morning, yeah. hey Dan. <laughs> Great name, by the way. Um, so talk a little bit about, you know, the small FPGA size. So we kind of just went to the edge, and then we want to talk about the small. We know there's been a lot of ascent, a lot of TAM expansion has gone with Avant, but Nexus has really been a core product, and I think that's it's kind of like your baby. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on there with Nexus and Nexus 2. So first of all, I love the small FPGAs. It's something that's sort of the heart of Lattice. And we ship a quarter billion units or 250 million units per year on average. And with that, we really have a great installed base with Nexus. And Nexus is used by lots of customers and we have up to 50 devices to choose from. And what I really like is you get a lot of customer feedback with that. And with that customer feedback, we've really been able to come up with Nexus 2. And there's really kind of three areas we've innovated on. The first one is advanced connectivity. So we got to connect to those latest sensors. So it's the latest MIPI D5 up to 8 gig. We have to connect to multiple sensors. And then when you get that back, you have to send it to DRAMs. So we've upgraded the, the bandwidth to memory. We've upgraded the, the backhaul in the CERTES. And with all those upgrades, we've kind of had to rebalance the power performance. And so we've optimized this architecture really for low power. Then lastly, really on Nexus 2, we've really been able to improve the security. Most questions I go to, security is now the dominant question. You know, they expect low power, but the, now with security at the edge, I see more and more people looking for us to be part of that fortress all the way to the edge of security. Yeah, I've always been, again, I said you guys were the first company that made FPGAs cool, uh, and, and I'm, I'm serious about that. But one of the things you did when I first started researching you is you took, you know, a lot of the competitors in your space were, I want to say, milking designs, but they were leveraging designs that were five, six, maybe seven years old on older processes. And then you came in and said, hey, no, no, we've got a new design in a, in a better process uh, for lower power. And it looks like you're doing this, this here with Nexus 2. I think that's pretty cool. So Assam, uh, in the opening, we talked about new products. We also talked about partners and customers. Uh, Ford, I think you had talked about uh, Dell on Edge, Edge AI here, but Assam, let me hit you up. Give me the highlights of uh, customer announcements and, and partner announcements here. Yeah, I mean, we recognized um, early on that um, as an FBJ supplier, um, for us to be successful, meaning the industry to be successful, it's not just about Lattice, it's about developing an ecosystem around FPGAs. And if you look at our ecosystem around Lattice, it's grown by 6x since we started this journey. That's right. significant. So we have more than ever, more companies out there building soft IP that's compatible with Lattice FPGA. So okay. our customers not only can select from a library of IPs from Lattice, but now there are more companies out there building IPs that are compatible with Lattice as well. And then we've also got more partner companies. I mean, we talked about NVIDIA, we talk about others that are now building reference designs that are leveraging Lattice as well. So that's right. proliferating Lattice across many applications as well. And then if you look at the number of design houses out there that can help our customers get to market, build system, build boards, there are more and more trained on Lattice as well. So the ecosystem is growing. And I think we've reached an inflection point as well that they're just not supporting Lattice, they're really contributing now 
to the effectiveness of lattice parts. They're contributing right. either in workloads around AI, they're contributing in motor control algorithms, ISP algorithms. And what that does, and this is what this conference is about, it's about getting the ecosystem together with FPJ developers, and let's look at the best tips and tricks and best practice and who's doing what. I didn't know I can get this, you know, um, edge AI application in an FPGA that I already have. I didn't know that I, while my FPGA is there, I can actually do monitoring of firmware and do security. And so this developers conference is really about everybody seeing what others are doing to get the most out of your FPGA application. And the ecosystem is a big part of that. And I know our partners, I, I meet with them on a regular basis. They appreciate this because this developers conference is a proof point yeah. of Lattice's investment in the ecosystem as well. I it's, love it. And speaking of proof points though, Sam, so, I mean, you had some pretty big numbers like year on year, right? I mean, a lot more customer, a lot more demos. I mean, yeah. Look, we had a thousand more registrants this year compared to last year. You know, we've exceeded 6,000 registrants, people that are with us live, also virtual. That's an indication that the adoption of FPJs is going up and the ecosystem around Lattice FPJs is increasing. I think they might need a bigger boat, Dan. Bigger, a bigger <laughs> boat, a <laughs> bigger <laughs> venue, <laughs> bigger stage. Um, you know, st strap in everyone. But uh, Ford, let's, uh, let's sort of wrap this up with you. You know, um, you've got a great audience of developers that spent time with you today. You've got world-class customers. I think sometimes maybe the market doesn't fully appreciate the NVIDIAs, and I know last year you had Metas and some of these big, big companies that are building with Lattice. Any sort of thoughts, messages that you want to share? Um, you know, kind of final thoughts for, yeah. that, for that group? I, I think what's in it for our developers, we've got 55,000 developers worldwide using our software. Uh, what's in it for them based on IHS and our own data, Lattice is going to grow much faster than both the FPGA market and the semiconductor market, allowing us, you know, allowing our developers to really deliver benefit to our customer and grow their business. Our success depends on their success. So our philosophy is, is one of very, staying very close to these customers. I give my business cards with my cell phone on it. You know, surprisingly, people don't call me that often <laughs> uh, because we, 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 we focus on quality, we focus on innovation but we, I offer it and um, you know, uh, all the way to the top, we are very uh, concerned and focused on our developer success in the market and them, uh, uh, their success is our success. Well, Ford, Sam, Dan, congratulations. Good stuff, it was really fun for I know Pat and I both really enjoyed it. Hardware is so back <laughs> and this is uh, a great event. Congrats on, congratulations on all the growth. Let's see you at uh, the Developer Conference 2025. Sounds good. We'll blink and we'll be there, right? <laughs> Thanks. Sounds good. All right, and thank great. you everybody so much for attending and being part of this great conversation. Hit that subscribe button. Be part of the 6.5 community. We appreciate you very much. And check out all the other video we did here. We did some demos. You'll need to click on to that as well. But for this show, for this sit down and great conversation with the leadership at Lattice Semiconductor, we got to say goodbye. We'll see you all later. <laughs>